Hello guys, I've recently signed up at this website called SugarDaddyCatch.com. It's an exotic place for successful men and beautiful women looking for beneficial relationships. Established sugar daddies hook up with attractive sugar babies at a success rate never seen before. Thousands of active members have chosen SugarDaddyCatch.com. So come and join this website for free today and send me a message via the link below in the description. Jayla Corian and I'm here with Renee from Renee Made You Look. She's a celebrity makeup artist and she's going to be doing my makeup today and giving us some tips for an everyday makeup look. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Stay tuned. Let's go. Um, eyeshadow bases. Mm -hmm. So like it's really good for people who are really on the go and don't have time and don't want to spend a lot of time in their makeup but have a, a darker eyelid. Mm -hmm. So you just put on the base, it'll brighten up your lid and you can just put some mascara on it. Like a bronze tones, I really just want to brighten up your lid mm -hmm. without looking like it's too much. And if I wanted to, you could just get away with just this by itself. And what eyeshadow is that? This is from MAC and it's called Amber Lights. Mm -hmm. Naked palette? Naked palette. I'm using Naked. Book. Oh, I love that color. Yeah, and I'm going like to use that. the crease color. Right. Just in the crease, just to give you a little bit of definition, but mm -hmm. I'm not trying to give you like a cut crease cut situation crease, yeah. and all that. I just want it to look nice and blended. You know, so you have, what is you have this good... considered that I, you know, when I look up, mm -hmm. my eye, I don't have a lot of... <laughs> I mean, you have a you have a deep crease, but it's not uh, hooded, where when you open your eye, it. your your lid disappears. Oh, uh, okay. So what I'm saying is, for people to get a good, and, like, get it, it in the right spot, Yeah. if you open your eye, mm -hmm. you'll see this is where the dip is. This is where oh, okay. your crease is, right? So where the brush is falling is a little bit above the crease. So mm -hmm. that way, when I swipe back and forth... Now you're going to have more of a shadow right above Love your it. crease. Okay. So that's contouring a little bit and making it look like your eyes more open. Open, right. gotcha. Eyeliner? Eyeliner. It, what, what is this? Because this looks very black and some eyeliners I've used, they're not black enough. <laughs> so um, this is MAC, their gel liner. Black uh, track? Black track, mm -hmm. yes. And do you like gel liners over like felt tips or... It depends on what, uh, for the uh, waterline, I like pencils, okay. but for above, I, do, I like gels. Gel. And sometimes you're about to see, I'm going to use two different gels for two different reasons. Okay. So um, I'm going to use Black Track first. I'm going to take a little bit of, well, if you see, it's like a very warm, oh. um, something lighter than uh -huh. the black, because I'm trying to soften the black. Okay. And and this is a quick way, and this is really good for people who have a hard time creating a straight line. Mm -hmm. Me? Right. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to focus on making it perfectly straight because you're going to blend it out anyway. Yeah. And this just gives you kind of like a soft, smoked look, mm -hmm. but very natural. Inglot Gel Liner, and it's number 77. Okay. So I'm going to go back and do a tight line. See that you're mostly um, oiling your T-zone? T-zone, right. yeah. So because it's an everyday look, you don't have to worry about using primer all over. Mm -hmm. For somebody who's more oily, you can just use it in the center where you get more oil mm -hmm. and leave the rest of the face. So this is Makeup Forever? Makeup Forever. I need to get Step that. one. Yeah, because primer. halfway through the day, my nose is like shining. Right, right. So this is going to help to hold that makeup. Uh -huh. um, so I'm going to use Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation to correct any discoloration mm -hmm. underneath your foundation. And what color is the that? So let's see. Do you, have you um, ever used like oranges and stuff to color correct? Or do you um, recommend it? You can. I feel like it will take more work to correct. Okay. So what I try to do is use um, a foundation that's more like skin tone with an orange or yellow undertone. Okay, gotcha. So right now I'm using Golden Stick Foundation by Bobbi Brown. Mm -hmm. I'm going to mix in a little bit of warm almond because mm -hmm. you're a little bit darker over here. 
So I'm doing this so that once I brighten you in this area, it doesn't come across looking ashy. Okay. So I'm so neutralizing the darkness. Right. Neutralize before you try to do the highlight right. and all of that. Right. Okay. And this really applies to under eye and concealer. Okay. Um, because a lot of the times, concealers are made usually brighter than the skin. Yeah. They're made to reflect light to brighten the under eye. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people end up highlighting the darkness instead of correcting it. And it, it. looks ashy. Exactly. I did that one time. Exactly. And I, what did I do wrong? <laughs> because you got to remember, you, the skin, the color under your eye is not the rest, it's not the same the as the rest face. of your face. Yeah. So you have to kind of, it's like when you're painting a wall, you put that primer on the base coat first. Mm -hmm. So that, or if you're doing a hair color and you bleach it first, you lift the color first so mm -hmm. that you could deposit and it will brighten the color on top of it. It's, a bit, it's the same thing. You're going to correct this to look, uh, this discolor is going to tone down whether it's blue green like purple whatever undertone is coming under the eye mm -hmm. and then you're going to put a concealer on top that's more skin tone correct to brighten and you'll see how it makes a huge difference okay. and it doesn't look white and ashy under the eye it happens when you do your foundation mm -hmm. and it looks perfect but then when you go to take a picture the picture is <laughs> the same well that's why correcting undertones first mm -hmm. it, it makes such a big difference because once you take that picture and that fluorescent light from that flash flashes, flashes it's going to pick up over. the undertone and yeah. it's going to look white or ashy mm -hmm. it might read good in in person, person but yeah. on camera especially with the hd and all that kind of stuff you see everything so mm -hmm. that's why it's really important to try to correct any discoloration first before you before you start brightening okay. and highlighting basically you know i feel like people kind of skip with the with the contouring trend and everything like that people skip like the necessary steps yes. it's like get your foundation correct first get yeah. that down pat get your <laughs> everyday look going and i'm telling you everything else is butter everything is everything else is once easy. you got the base right chestnut from bobby brown stick foundation contour and i'm going real quick gonna see how quick this contour is going to be okay. this is just like an everyday type of thing so you, you don't want to see first of all in general mm -hmm. you shouldn't see where your contour starts finishes it's a secret guys like secret. it's like spanks for the face you're not supposed to know your words spanks you know what i'm saying so you want it to blend as much as possible right. it creates a soft shadow that changes the you know the um the shape of your face. Yeah. That's what it's doing. Now, when we're talking about photography and TV, that's a different thing. But for every day, if you walk around with such a harsh, harsh contour, contour, it looks very harsh on the face. Yeah. And most people don't even need it. Smile. Get a contour in the nose really quick. I put some product on my finger. I'm going to rub. Okay, because I always struggle with yeah. contour in my nose. Yeah. Like, I mean, I need it to be contour, but then <laughs> I feel like it looks bigger. Right. So you got to, you know, this is a very easy way to do this. Okay. So you put the product on both of your fingers. You rub it together. Okay. You let it sit on both sides of the nose, pinch it together, and you just swipe it down. Just like that. Scoop it under. There you <gasps> go. There you <gasps> go. <laughs> oh, so that way you don't have to take 20 million hours trying to literally like stipple it with the brush and all that yeah. kind of stuff. And that, there you go. You have it right there. So all you do now, whatever's left on your brush now, uh -huh. you're going to bring it up into the brow and swoop it in. Just like this. I'm going to correct the other, the under eye. Okay. So Bobbi Brown makes these great correctors. So does Laura Mercier, and some other brands make um, a great uh, corrector. When I say corrector, I mean when you look at it, it doesn't look skin tone color. It's more okay. pink. It's more peach. It's more like a red. Those are corrective shades. Those are the shades that are going to help to cut and cancel any discoloration under the eye or on the face, okay. so that you can go in and highlight and conceal. Okay, so we're still correcting at this point. Right, so now we're correcting your under eye. We corrected the face, we're doing the under eye now. So I'm using Dark Bisque by Bobbi Brown. And you're going to see right now, as soon as I put it on, how it's going to look. It has a pink undertone. Key to success. <laughs> Perfecting concealer is really good. This way, where I'm going to go in and correct your under eye and conceal, because once you do that, you'll see how the face will look automatically look more even. Most of the uneven look you're getting from is usually because you're so focused on the eye area. That's what yeah. you're looking on first. So people put on more and more foundation to make up for the, the darkness under the eye. So yeah. if you correct this first, conceal it, then you can look back and look at the bigger picture and you can see, okay, this is looking more even or I need to add this here, take down this, you know, you can see it better. Yeah. There you go. And you automatically see the difference between this eye and that eye. Yeah. But I didn't put a concealer on top of it yet. I just We're not neutralized. Done. Right. <laughs> We're not done. <laughs> See, the thing about a natural look, everybody thinks a natural look is it's no na makeup. No makeup. It's, <laughs> it's a, lot, a of makeup. lot of makeup to get a natural look. And on top of that, that is probably one of the hardest faces to do. To do? Because most people know how to put on a bunch of makeup. Like, you right. know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know how to 
make the makeup look like at the end like you have almost nothing on yeah. like you know because guys would be like no oh look. i like girls with no makeup picture like um right taking pictures oh she has no makeup um she has a full <laughs> face on it's just a, a matter of the product how much product they use mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff all right so yeah they're breaking break Snatch. <laughs> I'm gonna go down the center using the same combination I used under the eye. See, once you know how to do your nose contour, I can't tell you nothing. <laughs> can't tell you nothing. Okay, so this is the Ben Nye setting powder. Yeah. Um, I use Sasha Cosmetics, the Buttercup. Do okay. you have a preference? Um, you know, I feel like there's so many products out there. Whatever you like, mm -hmm. whatever you feel like um, works for you. I mean, I like the banana powder because it's thin, it's not too heavy, and I love the yellow un the yellow undertone mm -hmm. for women of color. Okay. It's not my, it can't, it's not good for everybody. Some people like to do the baking situation under the eye. For me, especially going for a natural look, I don't like baking under the eye um, because I feel like it looks very dry and powdery. Oh, okay. So I like to put a decent amount on the brush and kind of take it away real quick so it doesn't look too dry and then I use my finger just to press the product in mm. just to mattify it okay um but I don't want it to look so stiff especially if some people some, you're, you're somebody who has a lot of texture under the eye mm -hmm. it's gonna be an issue it's gonna yeah. look very cakey especially for like an everyday look the NARS casino bronzer to sharpen your contour just a little bit and with the cheek area I'm just kind of focusing back here rather than giving a whole swipe mm -hmm. just so it makes it look softer okay. and then I'm going to go onto the top and then face forward I'm going to go down the center and the sides of the nose to sharpen the contour a little bit and now I'm going to use the mineral powder that I love so much to set makeup you from MAC skin finish? yes and this color is dark mm -hmm. smile so I'm going to use this to warm up your skin tone I love these as bronzers. Okay. They look so soft and natural. So with bronzer, here's a tip. A bronzer is supposed to mimic a suntan. Mm -hmm. Okay? You don't get tanned just on the cheek. Okay. You don't get tanned just on the okay. forehead. So you can concentrate here because this is where the sun hits first. And this is where most people are the darkest, right? Mm -hmm. So you concentrate more here. Then you sweep around on the cheek, smile. I like to put it on the apple of the cheek just to start my... Uh, my blush, I know where it gives you like a natural blush look. So if I wanted to have you just walk out right now, I could put some mascara on you and you don't even need blush. You could be good to smile. When you smile, it kind of like brings your cheekbone out so you can get a better placement of where to highlight. You don't want to look like a disco ball. So just a little bit. You don't need too much. Just enough that the sun hits you, you get a nice little glow on the skin, gives you a nice healthy glow to your skin. Blushes, so people be like, oh, what kind of blush do you have on, all that kind of stuff. Like today I'm wearing four different blushes, right. just okay. to achieve this. So these two shades, this is Floor Power, Floor Power, and this is Gleeful. Okay. This is more mineral, so it has more of a, a shimmer. Mm -hmm. So I use this more um, towards the back of the contour right here, and then use something more matte on the ball, the apple of the cheek. So this is going to give you a nice little contour right here, and then this is going to give you a nice pop of color on the cheek. Start back here. Start building the color where I want it. Come on. Start the ball. Let's go back. So guys, off camera we just did one eyebrow, so now we're about to do the other one. As you can see, the difference from the two. And we're about to get some tips on how to perfect the eyebrow. Okay, so today I'm going to use a color from MAC. It's called Espresso mm -hmm. with a double-ended brush. It has a spoolie on the end and this is angled at the tip. At the tip. So you're going to brush the hair up and then basically what I'm going to do is outline the brow. So I'm going to start on the bottom doing small swift strokes. This should not be the darkest part of your brow right here. Mm -hmm. It should gradually get darker towards the end. That's when it, that's what's going to give you the most natural effect. Mm -hmm. 
the brush is angled, right? You see? So um, when I'm doing the brow, I'm turning it this way. So now towards the front of the brow, I'm going to turn it this way. And I'm going to, I'm going to push up like this. So it's going to mimic small little hairs towards the front. Some clear brow gel, you can use any brand that you like. This happens to be um, Bobbi Brown. And this is supposed to hold your brows in place? It's supposed to hold the brow in place and it just gives it a kind of, um, it just brushes them, makes them look clean and neat. <laughs> just like that. Take my finger, lift and tap. I'm going to use that just to highlight her brow just because it gives you a softer look than putting shimmer under the brow sometimes shimmer under the brow can be very harsh especially on camera mm -hmm. it can pick up and make it really bounce off the light and all you see is shimmer underneath here yeah. so sometimes it's good to get a nice neutral matte color to highlight uh, this MAC palette again I'm going to use this warm tone and I'm going to mix it it just has a it's like a tan like orangey kind of tone and then I'm going to use this kind of like a cocoa color and this is what I'm going to use instead of using liner under her eye I'm just going to take a little and I'm going to sweep it right under her bottom lashes this is yeah there you go uh, the voluminous from L'Oreal L'Oreal yeah this is carbon black it's like a pitch pitch black mm -hmm. mascara um, and She's not wearing any lashes. Jayla's not wearing any lashes, and it still looks pretty. You don't have to put on lashes every day of your life. I mean, even if you, though we like it, if, yeah, and we love it, and we will put some on later on to show you the difference because it really helps to open up the eye. But if you or if you're pressed for time and you're somebody who it's not easy for you to put on a lash every day, yeah. you know, use your own lashes. And for me, doing the bottom lash, if I get a little bit on the bottom, it's okay because it kind of mimics a liner. It looks like a liner. So, so I did tap onto her skin a little bit and it looks like liner soft but it's not a harsh straight line yeah. um earth tone by nyx well on you it is gonna be kind of pink mm -hmm. but i'm gonna mix it so i'm gonna go in with honey love from honey love mac from mac yep the lip line first but on the softer side just to give the outline and then I place the color and then I go back in mm -hmm. you're able to see more of your lip shape and where you need it right. because when you're creating your lip line first and you're just using the lip liner sometimes you overdraw it way too much so a, a tip would be to fill in your lips with the color first and then go back out go back in with the lip liner to um, make it fuller that way mm -hmm. it looks more natural This is the finished look. We added lashes for that extra glam effect that I really love. In the comment section, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video, if you want more tips. Um, you can follow us on social media. I'm Jayla Corian, and you are what? I am Renee Made You Look. It's the same on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. Um, and I'm so excited that today I finally joined the YouTube world. So my YouTube is also Renee Made You Look. So make sure you subscribe. Yes, so in the comment section, if you have any video requests for her, any tips you want to know, make sure you leave them down there so she can see it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Bye.